Russia is reaching a critical juncture in its ambitious MC-21 airliner program. The second entirely import-substituted MC-21 is currently preparing for its maiden flight, following years of redesigning, testing, and replacing imported components. The initiative, led by Rostec and the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, has become a representation of Russia's pursuit of technological autonomy in the aviation sector. The MC-21's development reflects the country's dedication to becoming fully independent in commercial aircraft production, highlighted by the use of Russian-made parts like Altai aircraft tires and in-flight system failure testing. The crew intentionally generates severe conditions during the trials of the next-generation MC-21 aircraft, disabling control and power systems to demonstrate the aircraft's structural resilience and safety. Test pilot Oleg Mutovin revealed that they deliberately disabled two out of the three hydraulic systems during one of the tests. These experiments evaluate the aircraft's ability to continue flying under challenging conditions. Mutovin explained that the purpose of these intentional failures is to test fault tolerance. Sometimes hydraulic systems are turned off, other times both engine generators are deactivated. These scenarios are especially hazardous for the MC-21, which uses an electronic fly-by-wire control system. Without power, all systems rely on a small emergency wind turbine with a two-blade propeller. If it fails, the aircraft could lose control and crash. However, such hazards are an essential part of the certification process. The aircraft cannot obtain a type certificate unless it proves its ability to handle system failures. Mutovin noted that while the risks to test pilots are significant, they are unavoidable. This stage of testing aims to demonstrate the MC-21's reliability in the most demanding situations. Domestic production of aircraft components has been a cornerstone of Russia's import substitution program. The Altai Tire Plant is one example. Since 2020, the plant has been developing and certifying tires for the MC-21 and Superjet aircraft. Serial production is expected to begin once flight testing is completed. The plant has created tires for both the nose and main landing gear. All tests, including those conducted in China, were successfully passed on the first attempt. The nose tires underwent static testing in autumn 2024, while the main landing gear was tested in winter and spring 2025. By 2030, Altai plans to equip 270 MC-21 3Hen aircraft with its tires. Ash-K has already sent new main landing gear tires to China for additional flight evaluations. This represents another step toward achieving full technological independence from imported materials. The first version of the MC-21 relied heavily on foreign suppliers using imported composites, avionics, and other systems. But in response to international sanctions, Russia launched a large-scale localization drive. The country replaced a wide range of systems and components, including the engine and wing, with domestically made versions. One of the major challenges was maintaining weight balance after replacing so many systems. Russian-made components were slightly heavier, which affected performance, reducing both flight range and cruising altitude. Certification for these new components also required additional testing, making the process longer and more complex. Nonetheless, in 2025, the MC-21-310 version equipped entirely with Russian-made systems, successfully completed its first flight. By summer, the same aircraft had entered certification testing in its new configuration. Vibration tests are one of the final steps before a maiden flight. These tests evaluate how the aircraft's structure reacts to vibrations and how they affect hydraulic, electronic, and landing gear systems during movement. They are crucial for preventing dangerous resonance during actual flight. The manufacturer successfully conducted vibration testing on a fully imported prototype in 2025. Chief designer Vitaly Narishkin said completing these tests brings the aircraft closer to flight. Before flight trials begin, 
the aircraft must pass a series of ground and system tests to confirm vibration stability. Preparations for flight testing of the second fully import substituted MC-21 are now underway. After ground inspections, Minister of Industry and Trade Anton Alikhanov confirmed its inclusion in the testing program. The jet is currently waiting for takeoff at the flight test complex. According to industry sources, the second prototype's fuel system, auxiliary power unit, and main engines are being tested under live conditions. All imported components, including control surfaces, actuators, wing mechanisms, stabilizers, and other systems, have been replaced with Russian ones. In Irkutsk, preparations for flight tests are progressing rapidly. Rostec officials stated that the addition of a second aircraft will speed up certification since both prototypes can now share flight hours and test loads. A delegation from UAC, Rostec, the Ministry of Industry and Trade, and Rosaviatsia inspected the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, confirming that the MC-21 project is ready for flight trials. The prototype with tail number 73057 has been equipped with all necessary systems and instruments. The second MC-21 will be cleared for flight once ground and system validation are complete. Initially, the MC-21 was expected to make its first flight in 2025 in a fully Russian configuration. However, the exact schedule depends on the success of complex system tests involving flight controls, hydraulics, fuel, and auxiliary systems. Serial production may begin in 2026, with first airline deliveries expected by the end of that year, if all tests go as planned. Production rates are projected to reach 72 aircraft per year by 2029. Aeroflot Group remains the key customer, planning to acquire about 108 MC-21 aircraft by 2030 and expand its fleet to 200 by 2033. Despite progress, the aircraft's range and ceiling are slightly reduced because the new domestic components have added roughly 6 tons to its total weight. Engineers are now refining the configuration to restore optimal performance and efficiency. Even with these challenges, the MC-21 program is nearing a decisive milestone, its first flight and eventual entry into commercial service. Completion of vibration and ground tests marks a major step forward. The inclusion of the second import substituted MC-21 in testing represents a significant move toward mass production and faster certification. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.